Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another fake Grand Order video. Today, what are we going to be doing? Well, I noticed that there's only five days left in the event, so that means that it's time to start preparing for what's coming up next. And thankfully, what's coming up next is pretty lax. So I'm going to be talking about the upcoming banner that I, I think is coming. I'm pretty sure the next one should be Interlude Campaign 17. They did just introduce something that was like... Uh... What was it? It was like... Yeah, the story clear support campaign, I feel like that puts a lot of cautionary flags up that makes it so that in theory any servant that had anything to do with a story could probably be made into a banner and released. So keep an eye on that and if that does happen I'll talk about that banner but for now we're going to talk about what I, what I think is going to be here in five days with the interlude campaign. And that's going to be today's video. Hope you like it. If you do, feel free to leave a like. I'm very close to 3,000, which I never thought I would ever make it to 3,000. So if you can help make me make it there and then start working towards the next goal, that'd be fantastic. And let's go into it. So, Interlude Campaign 17 is pretty simple. There's going to be some new interludes. For the people who are interested, the interludes are for Ibuki, Okita, Vietra. Vetera? I don't know how to say this uh, this name, unfortunately. It's like V-R-I-T-R-A Vitra. That's why I was saying it, but I'm almost positive that is a horrible butchering on my part. Um, Charlotte Corday. I'm also positive I said that last name wrong. Okita Alter. I said that right. And Van Gogh. I said that I'm positive that one's correct. And those are the ones that are getting interludes, and the ones that are getting buffs are uh, Okita and Okita Alter. The rest are just two sync wards and that's it. Uh, kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. There is also going to be other uh, other things related to it. Like there's going to be a login bonus so you can get that singular ticket and another ticket at the end of the five days. And for some reason, six EXP, which means nothing. <laughs> I think when this originally came out in Jap Japanese, in J Japanese, in Japan, um, this wasn't available yet for grinding, I think, which maybe makes this make a little bit more sense, but I'm going to be almost positive that knowing Fago, they released this after it was already possible to grindy, so it just doesn't make any sense. And in terms of if you're looking for servant enhancements, we got Ibuki, we have Okita, we have everyone that is on the list there. You have a two great and super suck chance, so if you're looking to get them to level 120, now's your chance. In a lewd one half, uh, one half AP, so perfect time for you to go out there it will be every single interlude in there and also main story is one fourth ap so if you're like me and you still have not gone through the story because you just don't have the time in your life to read entire novels to go through something and then also fight a boss that's like <laughs> whose main gimmick is uh i just deal 5,000 damage i heal 5,000 hp and i start with like seven uh hp bars um now's your chance to go through them keep going through them as well and then finally here's the actual summoning campaign this is what it's spec expected to be which is okita alter and van gogh um what are the actual chances of, of there being other units on here so i did a quick check it can't uh, ibuki can't be added because ibuki comes in later on in the year for a banner that should be do, 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 do. it's for a download campaign so that means that she has a very little chance of showing up early She's like somewhere in November, I believe. Yeah, she's here for the 24 million download campaign. Uh, and then uh, <laughs> the same thing for Okita. Why isn't Okita here? It's because Okita has a banner right here, which should be right here. Right here. Am I crazy? Was there no Okita banner? I could have swore there was an Okita banner. But no, it must be beforehand. I refuse to believe that there's a Guda Guda event with no... With no... Uh, Maybe I'm just crazy. Maybe uh, I thought I could have swore there was Okita. No, we had. Maybe we just had Okita. Maybe that's where I'm confusing. Either way, I'm pretty positive Okita's not showing up. Uh, Vitra is maybe the only one that does have a chance of showing up, and that's because she is a five-star unit that is always in every banner, so she doesn't get featured in a lot of banners because, in theory, she's in every banner. So they very rarely feature those type of units. So if they wanted to add another unit, I guess they could add this one to her. Uh, Charlotte is obviously a one to two star, so she is not being added, but it would be funny to have her added in there. <laughs> but it would also ruin it by taking up a slot of a three star, which is free mana prisms. So maybe for the best that she isn't. And these two are on the banner. 
I'm only giving my ideas here is because uh, NA lately has been really good at just adding units to it that were unexpected. So I'm looking at them thinking, who of these is it likely to be added? And I think if anyone, it would probably be Vitra over here. The other two, not likely. Uh, let's go over the units themselves, huh? Uh, we'll go over Okita Alter first. Okita Alter, she is an uh, alter ego. The alter, alter ego. She is two quicks, one arts, two buster. Her first skill, which turns into the Kiyochi, which is after her second strengthening. I believe that, yeah, she all her skills have been buffed at this point. Including the MP? No, the MP is the only one that's left standing. Anyway, this is her skill after the buff. Um, increases own quick performance for three turns. Increases own buster performance for three turns. Increase our damage against enemies with the sky attribute for three turns. It's 30%, 30%, and 30% across the board for six turns. This lasts three turns, each one of them, but um, it's a cooldown of six. I should have said that. What was this previously? Exactly the same, except for now it's 30% to the sky attribute. Second skill eventually turns into Persistence B+, which charges our own NP gauge and then increases our own crit star absorption for one turn. And then increases on attack for three times three turns. The MP up is 30%, the absorption is 500%, and the attack up is 20%. The change for this one is obvious. It was only thing that was added was the increase of own attack for three times three turns. And a third skill, which is Boundlessness A+, which is what should be introduced with the interlude, uh, is an increase in, uh, to own NP damage for three turns. Overcharges on NP by two stages for one time three turns, and then grants self evasion for two attack three turns. And the MP damage up is 30%, and I believe that is an across-the-board improvement in a lot of things. Yeah, so even the evasion went from one attack to two attacks. The increase of MP damage went from one turn to three turns, and then the overcharge was added. So this is a full-on, much better skill now. Her passive skills are Magic Resistance B and Independent Action A. Her third skill is an Anti-Caster Attack Damage Aptitude. And her Noble Phantasm is Rank A Zekin Mukio Sanden, the Decisive Blade Endless 3 Stage. It is an anti-world um, Noble Phantasm of Buster. Uh, 7 hits, steals damage to all enemies. The MP damage at level 1 is 300%, and all the way to level 5 is 500%. And then it reduces their Buster resistance by 3 turns. At Overcharge 1, it is 30%. If you increase it by 2 levels, it is 40%. And then at the final Overcharge level, it is 50%. Um... That is Okita Alter. Uh, I think this ends up being... Uh, this is weird, because I think in originally when Okita Alter kind of released, I wasn't the biggest fan of her. Um, of her skill set, I'll say. I love her as a unit, I, but I was never actually able to use her, mainly because I didn't have a buster support. But even if you look at what is desired in a buster support, she's a little bit weird. Not in a buster support, but in a buster unit. She's a little bit weird. Because she is someone who wants both Buster and Quick kind of to go on her side. And as you can see here, she's not really a Buster Gorilla. She's a Buster with Quick abilities attached to it. But she's also AoE, and I feel like a unit with this kind of skill set, usually when it comes to Quick, is a little bit better suited for single target. But she was ended up being AoE. Um, and yeah, it's a little bit weird. Now I feel like I could probably use her a little bit more and I'm looking forward to actually kind of messing around and seeing how good she is now. Um, obviously the super obvious setup here is using him with, um, with Vich and Oberon, which I can easily do and I think she'll do perfectly fine there. But with the overcharge and so much overcharge, I kind of want to try her with Morgan because in theory by the end here, actually does this reduce the buster resistance? Does it apply first or does it apply after? That'd be kind of kind of nice to know. I wish they usually tell you if it applies first, but I'm going to guess it doesn't apply first. Mm, if you know, let me know, but I kind of like the idea of like being able to get a lot of overcharge. Uh, to overcharge the MP by two stages, and then at that point it's like deep, 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 and then with two Morgans you'll be able to get the 500% charge. At least if my charge math is correct, it should work out that way, which is a 50% buster resistance down, which should be pretty nice. In theory, but again, she is alter ego, so she doesn't do very well against saber, archers, and lancers. So it would really only work in a node that is specifically like, um the the rest that deal <laughs> bonus damage to it and then at that point it feels like shouldn't you just get a berserker of some kind but i don't know 
when it comes to units that you like, you figure out a way to make use of them, and I think with this, I will figure out a way to make use of them, because I think it's pretty nice um, what they've done here. There's even a way to even use her with the charge on MP gauge. Um, it's a little bit of a shame that it's 30% and not 50%, because 50% would actually be the ideal. Her cooldowns are perfectly fine, but if it's a six turn cooldown, I kind of want it to be... I don't know, 50% to work truly better with Vich, otherwise you're gonna end up needing... No, I think and, and, and no matter what you do, you might end up need. Uh, there's team comps around it, actually. There's ways to, to do it. It all kind of depends on how you want to do your team build. I'll figure it out. I'll mess around with it for sure. And that's Okita Alder. And she's always been a very cool unit, so I'm glad to make it seem like this buff kind of makes it seem like this is just a full-on better version of this, by the way. I really do like what they've done with this skill. It really feels like a fast improvement about over what it was. Even something simple as just like having evasions for more than one attack is pretty nice. Uh, cause, you know, the closer we get to Kunis, the better a skill becomes. Cause Ku has the best version. Both Alter and regular Ku have the best version of an evade that you could ask for, I think. But anyway, that's enough. Next, Van Gogh. Here's what Van Gogh do be doing. Vincent Van Gogh, everyone's favorite foreigner. Three quicks. One arts, one buster. I wonder what you call someone who's a... I know uh, three busters, you call them a buster gorilla, but what do you call a three quick and a three arts? Mm. Something to think about. Her active skills are... <clears throat> Get ready for this one. First skill, void space, fine arts, B+. Grant self gut says for one time, five turns. And she has three 500% chances to inflict a curse for a hundred... <laughs> okay, so 500% chance to inflict curse with a 100 damage for 10 turns to self, and she applies that to herself two more, two more times for a total of three. Then she charges her own MP gauge per curse stack, so her revive is 3000 HP, and her st one stack of NP plus, it is 10% per uh, stack of curse. Her second skill is the Get Gela Hues the Yellow House A+. 150% chance to reduce all enemies' defense for 3 turns, reduce their quick resistance by 20% for 3 turns, grants party evasions for 1 attack 3 turns, uh, recovers party's HP by 300 for every turn for 5 turns, 500% chance to inflict curse with 100 damage for 10 turns to the party, that is considered a demerit. Her defense down is 20%, uh, third skill. Soul of Water channels EX, increases one ally's attack for three turns, increases critical star absorption for three turns, grants self on attack activation buff for three turns, removes own one last curse debuff when attacking with quick cards, if successfully removed the debuff increases own attack by 10% for three turns, absorb all enemies and parties curses to self. Mm, the attack up is 30% and the absorption is 600%. Passive skill. Existence outside of the domain A. Gain crit 2 crit stars every turn. Increase own debuff resistance by 10%. Insanity C. Uh, item construction B-. Divinity B. And then Curse of the Sunflower. HP will never fall below 1 when taking curse damage, which is very important. Third skill is the anti-caster attack damage aptitude. Increase on attack against caster enemies, obvious. And her noble phantasm is a rank EX. They are... They are, they are the Starry Knight. I completely butchered that. It's okay, I did it on purpose. Uh, it's an Arts EX Anti-Unit Noble Phantasm. 500% chance to inflict terror status for all enemies for one time three turns. 60% chance to activate the debuff below every turn. When activated, 500% chance to stun them for one turn. Increases parties of critical damage for three turns. Further increase the crit damage of existence out of the domain allies by 100% for three turns. Gain 10 crit stars every turn for 3 turns. The crit damage at MP level 1 is 50%. Um, that's funny. It says further increase the crit. So that means if they're all if she's MP1, the, regardless of anything, all allies are getting 50% crit damage. And then if they also are existence outside of the domain, it's an additional 100%. And then if you get it all the way to MP5, it is 100%. Uh, increased party's attack for three turns. It is charge, at charge level one, it's 30%. And at the final charge, it is 50%. Uh, Van Gogh is, without a doubt, extremely good. To the point where there, I've seen a lot of conspiracy theories centered around this Noble Phantasm, which says that this Noble Phantasm is why we've been getting less units with existence outside of the domain, because they've made this ability this Noble Phantasm, so good, 
that they are actively afraid of making more units with existence outside of the domain. So they make foreigners, but they don't typically give them outside of the domain anymore. Let me see if I can remember this correctly. Yeah, if you see here, kind of some of the kind of newer ones, there aren't really that many new ones. There's like some, yes, yeah, she's new for this year, but the last one that we got was uh, Jacques the Mole, the female version. And it's been a very long while, and they've released other foreigners since then, so a lot of people kind of feel like this is obviously related to the fact that they don't want... They don't want, they just don't want people to have this ability. They don't want <laughs> to break something with it. But I don't know. Um, I definitely feel like this is an extremely strong Noble Phantasm, but it's kind of silly to be like not releasing them. But you know, who knows? Sometimes it feels like they make a unit, realize they've made a mistake, and then don't learn. From <laughs> and then the answer is they ignore the mistake as opposed to maybe trying to fix it by making other units as good as them or something. But. Anyway, I digress. I think she's a super cool unit. She has a very cool, unique kind of playstyle, especially when it comes around this curse stuff. Um, and having a lot to do with quick cards. And in general, she's always seemed like a super fun unit to use, and I've always wanted to get Van Gogh. Um, and I failed last time that Van Gogh was here, and I kind of want to try again, but I'm tapped out at this point, man. I just don't have the same quartz anymore. To get anything for Van Gogh. I don't think I have a single thing saved. The only thing I have saved are tickets, but they're all being saved for Summer Ibuki. So I'm kind of screwed in this instance. I'm going to have to let her pass me by again. Real shame, because she really does seem like a really fun unit to use, and just a lot of her abilities are just cracked dumb. I remember a friend who has her on JP, and he always shows me his screenshots of using double... Uh, using double Van Gogh for very silly reasons. Like, again, if you're using double Van Gogh, now this is just dumb. And you have double Van Gogh with someone with existence outside of the domain. That is 150, that is 300% crit damage to someone. <laughs> That's silly. That is just very, 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 very silly. But anyway, that's the banner that's coming up for the interlude. So yeah, not surprising that she didn't get a buff with the interlude because she did not need a buff with the interlude because she's perfectly fine as is. Some of the others, who knows? Maybe you could say, maybe you can make the argument, but uh, I doubt it. Anyway, that's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. When this banner comes out in five days, feel free to come back to this video and tell me how you did if you ended up summoning. Uh, again, I think both of these units are pretty nice units. I really like Okita Altar and I really like Van Gogh. So I don't blame anyone for summoning for them. Um, and don't worry about summoning them about them if you don't if you just literally tapped out, man. If you're out of St. Quartz, then it's best to just go back to saving, to be honest. But if you're dedicated and you've been waiting all this time for them, now is your chance. But anyway, that's the end of the video, everyone. Till next time, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Bye.